Hello and welcome back. I'm Debbie Daly and we have a yin yoga practice for the upper body. We will be moving into stretches for the neck, the shoulders, and the upper back. So if you need to release tension because you do a lot of computer work or work on devices a lot, or if you need to release tension because you just hold your tension in the upper body, and this is stuff that I need to do regularly to release my own tension. So let's go ahead and get started with puppy pose coming to hands and knees. And this first pose will be for two minutes and this will be one of the shorter ones. We'll do some longer holds as we get into it. So the puppy pose, it's also called melting heart pose. You could have your forehead on the ground, or if you're really open in the shoulders, you might bring your chest to the ground and your chin. Or if your face is not quite comfortable where it lands, you could put a block or something under your forehead like so. Feel free to open the knees wider if that feels good. And to really try to find the back bend here. And begin to soften into the rhythm of your breath. Each time you exhale is a chance for the heart to, to soften down a little more. Each time you exhale is a chance for your armpit area to lengthen more. And if you'd like to get a little more tricep stretch, you could bend your elbows and place your palms together behind your head, which probably works better without a block. Softening through the chest and the shoulders. And now releasing just back into child's pose. Take your hips back to your heels. And let the arms come down alongside of the body. Down along the legs. And just taking a little moment of rest here to feel the effects of puppy pose. Feel your shoulders, feel your neck. And now coming back up to hands and knees for the rolling panda pose. So we start out with this right arm coming underneath the left, threading under, and the side of the neck comes to the ground, or the side of the head comes to the ground in order to lengthen the side of the neck. So the right side of the neck, try and make it as long as you can by bringing your ear up away from the shoulder. And now your left hand, just reach it up over the head. The palm could be down. And here you might feel some stretch in the upper outer arm, the deltoid area of the right arm, the one that's on the ground here. And also feel into your neck, side of the neck. So we do this rolling panda pose in two phases. This is the first phase.
And now taking your left foot out to the side for the second phase. So just out like a kickstand. The exact placement is up to you. See what feels like it supports the way you wanna hold your head and upper body. So you can begin to tuck your head under and you can decide exactly what angle it's gonna end up at. You might like the stretch more toward the back of the neck, in which case you'll tuck the head farther through. The top arm could stay on the ground or it could come to wrap behind you and rest on the low back or hold on to the thigh. Softening with the breath. And now releasing, slowly unwinding, and returning to hands and knees, coming right into it on the other side, left arm threads underneath the right. Starting with the first phase, which is keeping both knees on the ground and lengthening the left side of the neck by bringing the left ear farther away from the shoulder. And now open your right leg out to the right side, extend the leg like a kickstand. Tuck the head under as much as you feel good about. Wrap the arm around the back if you wish. The target area here is the upper spine, the neck primarily, but the upper back as well. And also between the shoulder blades, particularly back of the left shoulder blade. And you can feel as if you're about to come over into a somersault, but you're not gonna do it into a diagonal somersault. Slowly now unwinding, making your way back to the center and then into child's pose.
coming up from child's pose come all the way forward onto your belly for open wings so take your left arm out to the side and we're going to roll this way to stretch the front of the left shoulder but just a about this arm position it could be straight out with the palm down or the palm could be up and the arm could angle down more or out more to the side directly and some people like to bend the elbow so you have all those options to play around with as we roll over peeling the right hip off the ground so it comes up on top of the left hip and now you might be comfortable resting your head on the floor or you might prefer to have a block or some other kind of support like a pillow under your head and what to do with the legs is a little bit of an exploration here you could bend your right knee up if you like you could just have both knees bent your right hand could support you on the ground or it could wrap behind the back in some kind of a way or you might like to keep this top leg as a lever and just keep it hovering above the ground it's all about stretching into the left side of the chest and the front of the left shoulder and if you bring your head farther back in space then you might get a little in the neck as well in the front of the neck for the scalenes Resting, letting yourself soften. Inviting your body to relax. and slowly roll over to the other side extend the right arm out to the right side and open it up so if your shoulders tender again you could keep the left hand on the floor in front of you and not open up quite so assertively or if you feel like you want more sensation then you can open it up more maybe bring the knee up some people bring both knees up even which is just going to give you more sensation because you're twisting the weight of your pelvis and legs away from the stretch and again maybe the head finds its way back in space to lengthen the front of the neck hmm.
And now coming back to the center and making your way back into child's pose. Moving slowly, moving gently. Rest here for one minute. And now coming up and sitting for half butterfly pose. So we'll do a half butterfly pose with an upper body emphasis. This posture usually is primarily for the lower body, for the hamstrings. But as we come forward, we can take this left hand, so the opposite arm comes to the outside of the leg or the calf or the foot. And then we can get a nice stretch in the outside of the arm and the armpits and the ribs. The right hand could maybe come to the floor on the outside of the leg or wherever it feels comfortable and supportive. So now coming up just a little bit and taking your right hand down the leg and opening your left shoulder out to the side to come into this lateral half butterfly. And here we're changing our target area to the side of the neck. If you take your left hand behind your back, you can get a little more of that and you can Experiment with walking the left hand up the back more. So what that looks like is this. Walking the hand up the back, and that can give you a really nice stretch in the neck with that internal rotation of the arm.
good and slowly coming back up and resting at the center sitting with the legs crossed and just feeling everything that's happening in the body feeling into the neck the shoulders upper back Moving into half butterfly on the second side, left leg comes out, right foot to the inner upper thigh, come over the leg and cross the right arm, right hand to the outside of the leg or foot, left hand on the floor to support you wherever it feels right. And feeling the stretch in the hamstrings maybe, in the upper arm and the armpit and the side of the upper ribs. Good. Coming back up and into the lateral stretch. So left hand to the leg, roll the right shoulder open so the right chest opens to the sky. And take the right hand behind the back as you relax your head to the side. You're lengthening the right side of the neck and inching this hand up the back to a place that feels good. Soften, relax, breathe. Breathing space into the body. And now slowly bring yourself back up to center and slowly make your way down onto your back. Rest on your back.
feeling everything that's happening inside the body. And now coming into banana pose, the arms are going to come up over the head for this. And then the hands and the feet come over to the right. So hands toward the top right corner of the mat, legs toward the bottom right corner, and you can cross your left ankle over your right ankle. And then make sure you've got a nice curved shape of the torso. Sometimes I like to bump my hips out to the left to emphasize that a bit more. And we're stretching into this whole left side of the body, the left armpit, the left side of the ribs, the left side of the waist. I'm gonna take out my ponytail. for neck comfort. And now releasing and changing sides. Arms and legs over to the left, hips bumping out to the right. slowly releasing back to center rest on the back slowly bring the arms back to a comfortable position along the sides or out to the sides and feel your breath feel your body feel your ribs your upper back your neck your shoulders breathing space into it all Hug your knees into your chest. And 
And now lift your forehead up toward your knees, squeezing into a tight ball. And release your head back down. Take the knees both to the left in a twist. And extend your right arm out to the side. So the twist is for the whole body, the lower spine, middle spine, and upper spine are all twisting. And there's also this action of this arm that extends out and the stretching of the pectorals that can happen and the ribs as they shear away from the spine. And here I encourage you to play around with the position of this arm. Maybe it's a little higher to get that chest stretch better, or maybe you like it a little lower, or maybe you like it up next to the head. Wherever you like the arm, you can also then play around with your head position and see what feels best. And slowly releasing knees up to the center and right over to the other side. Left arm extends out to the left. And you can play around with the arm position again, higher or lower or all the way up next to the head. And you can explore different positions of your head. And breathe. And come back up to the center and extend the legs down the mat. Come into a final relaxation, final Shavasana pose. Might feel good to spread your arms and legs out wide in a star shape. Taking a big breath into this body. 
Inside of your upper body are your lungs. And so all of this space being created around the neck and the shoulders and the upper back and the chest. All of this is making more space for the lungs to move freely, for breath to move, to flow more easily. and luxuriating in this breath. Letting it be an ambrosia, an elixir that blesses this body, blesses this heart. And you can now begin to move your arms and legs and very slowly and gently start to stretch out in any way that feels good. And please take your time transitioning into your next activity. And I will leave you here. And thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day.